What's up, everybody? Welcome to Livecast. It's Monday night. It's uh, April 2nd. It's April Fool's Day. It was yesterday. Anybody do anything? Jeff with anybody? Negative. Kelly? No. Kelly told me she I was... I got Jilly. Oh, sorry. Well, Kelly told me she was pregnant. <laughs> oh, God. I'm not scared. I'm only That's kidding. Scary. I, I got a good one. I was up in L.A. and I acted like I had to leave really quickly right away. It was great. Well, like to come back to San Diego or yeah, like you yeah, had diarrhea? Exactly. Yeah, no, like come back to San Diego. And? I tricked her. It's April Fool's. Was it a good one? Yeah, it was okay. Yeah. You sorry you told us now? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do anything this year. But yeah, one year, year I helped a friend plan a fake engagement. I mean, he was actually going to get engaged to this girl, and they're married now. But the moral of the story is don't lie to your friends about stuff like that because they hate you for it afterwards. Mm-hmm. Well, how about the girl? You tell no. me the girl wasn't pissed when she found out the funny I'm not thing, really no, no. being engaged? I'm not really being proposed to? The girl was in on it. He was in on it. Get this. The girl's parents were in on it, too. The friends weren't in on it. The friends were not in on it. Oh. And then the friends were like, oh, I can't believe you guys would lie to our face like that. Because mm. it wasn't really an April Fool's thing. We like set it up for a month. I gotcha. Oh, wow. Yeah. When did you do it? Well, we did it on April 1st. Well, then it was an April Fool's thing. Yeah, I guess. But, you know, I still, I still lost some friend points for that one. <laughs> I didn't have this with me today. I wish I did. I keep forgetting. I keep leaving it here. By the way, if you want to get your very own one of these or make your very own, mm-hmm. you can go to... Uh, Cookingguy.com forward slash stop texting. Mm-hmm. You can print out either side and put it on your own little pieces of cardboard and carry it in the car when you drive up behind a douche. That's texting and weaving down the road. I wonder if there have Thank been any altercations. Much. I hope there haven't. It's I hope there haven't been altercations. That would be um, <laughs> that would not be a good thing, right? Probably not. No, definitely not. We don't want um, that sort of thing to happen to our viewers. We are worried that people would... Like, do the stop texting asshole to some big meathead guy and he would like crash the car, pull over and get pissed off. Hey, today's National Peanut Butter and Jelly Day. Take yeah. my computer, take a look. I put this on my Facebook. Yeah. It's and the reason we're not time. doing uh, any peanut butter and jelly on the show today, even though it's National Peanut Butter and Jelly Day, is because we already did that. The grilled PB&J, and as far as I'm concerned, nothing tops that badass thing. Seriously. Nothing. That's like one of the best looking things ever. And if you haven't simply taken a peanut butter and jelly, buttered the outsides of it and grilled it like a grilled cheese so it comes out like this, you're missing the boat, ladies and gentlemen. It's a great thing to do. Uh It Mm. changes the way that you eat peanut butter and jellies. No question about it. I mean, you can get this off the recipes page on our live cast, but but does it really need need a recipe? No. (laughs) You guys are a little dark in there. Is that because of the new camera? You know, or because the... We'll put some lights on us. We got got to figure you guys out. I know. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. So when we put pictures of, uh, when, the, when the live cast goes up the next day, iTunes picks a thumbnail out, out of, the, uh, out of the, uh, the, the length of the video and puts it up. The one that was up for last Thursday for like three days was this one. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> What do I need to do so you can see my whole computer? Sorry. That's okay. Let me rephrase that. What do you need to do so that you can... There you go. Something that takes more than a split second. Sorry. Okay, good. Um, <laughs> I, I, look how bad that is. I mean, do you just want to point out every single little problem that we ever have in this <laughs> All thing? All right, guys. Let's move no, on. not let's move every on. single problem. <laughs> well, you've managed to do like 17 of them in the first five minutes. No, I haven't. What have I done? Moving on. I think I missed something, Steve. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) We're back. Awkward moment. Ground to a halt. (laughs) Awkward moment. I apologize if that's what I've done. That's the this is the opportunity for you to say it's okay, Dad. It's okay. Let's just yeah. No, 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 no. But when somebody apologizes, then you gotta Oh thank you. I'm sorry. Let's just yeah. If if you don't know, if you've if you're new to the live cast, uh, Max is my first child. Where are we broadcasting right. from, by the way? What's the name of the show? Who's with you in the room? The Sam Livecast. Yep. You're Max, mm-hmm. uh, the Sam Livecast's mm-hmm. oldest child. That's <laughs> Lin Chi beside you, also known as Li Jun. And why do we call him Li Jun? Because I look like... You're about to find out. Because he looks just like He Jun from uh, American Idol. Please don't make me do it again. 
No, no, no. We did it enough. <laughs> okay. We should get that picture. That's what we need. Yeah, don't we have a still? Oh. We should, yeah. Uh, okay. You know what? He's voted off, so. Is he? It yeah. doesn't mean he looks anything less <laughs> like him. No, but. Uh, okay, great. I'm getting the go-ahead from Kelly over here. Just forget that topic and go into something else. I'm getting it from Max. <laughs> so, Tony, you guys tell me what you want to fucking talk about, and then we'll do it. <laughs> I don't what know. How's that? His language? Is that good? It's your show, buddy. By the way, let me read an email. And by now the way, that we're talking Kelly about this. Just chop liver. Oh, I'm sorry. Dude, sorry. Finish. Steve, right here. <laughs> Steve shoots this live part of the show and uh, other things. <laughs> what is with you today? I got an email. You, you pissed me off then. Do you, I mean, any the energy? Thing? No, you sent me. You, you sent excited me, to be here at sent, all? You sent me in the wrong direction oh, by man. saying that I'd already bitched you out about nine things. And I hadn't. One thing. By hey, the way, we still never saw that shot of Lynn as he Jun. I, I hate to you know point it out, but I have a beanie just like that. Do you want me to bring it? It's brown. Yeah. I mean, it's got like, you know, the little like, it has you like a lip like him. in the back for like the hat portion. You do but look like Kim. Give, give <laughs> totally. me. Okay. So on the couch over there, sorry. On the couch is Kelly and um, one of my dogs. Kelly with the new camera on her. Yeah. Look at that. There's a new shot of Kelly and uh, Haley sound asleep. My dogs are here. I'm having the hardest time so, with this I new think it's freaky when dogs Facebook do thing. Oh, oh, can we talk about that? I, I don't know where I'm posting. I was The I, new Facebook. Well, yeah, and I kept on like... No, Facebook I nobody fucking was, hate. Oh, I don't know what to do. Nobody would... Not one person was posting. I'm like, oh my God, we don't have one viewer. I was freaking out. And good. then I looked on the other side of the page and everybody's posting. So I just... It's hard. I, I don't know where to post. Can we take a look at it real quick? Yeah. Here, let's go to my computer. Yeah. It looks nice. You have this big image right here. And then who you are and how many people like you and stuff. And then this is where we... Uh, pull people up? No. It's annoying. Recent posts. What's, so, the, di what's the difference between different. the right side and the left side? I don't Who know. Who knows? It's just, it's just the way. Are a lot of people complaining about it? Uh -huh. Yeah, I know a lot of people have been complaining about it. Oh. I mean... Okay. John Erickson says, go to my happy place and breathe, I will. You know who's in her happy place? Haley. <laughs> I would like to be there too. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm sure. Mm. <laughs> By the way... Uh -huh. Can I read an email? Sure. Uh, let's see. Well, there's a few. Uh, I've watched the show for many years since we moved here. Recently, uh, I've wa we've watched the show for many years since we've moved here and recently found the live cast and now are fans of both. In fact, we've been thinking about getting rid of cable for um, the TV and just using the web part of it. And now we can and not have to worry about not getting our Sam fixed. That's very nice. The other night we went to Donovan Seafood since we heard you talking about it for so long. Yeah. I hope you're not annoyed by my talking about Donovan Seafood. But they went to Donovan Seafood since they heard me talking about it so long. And my wife wanted me to write and say we were really glad we did. It was delicious. The people were so nice. And their fans too. Thanks again for all the fun and entertainment, Jim and May. Thank you, Jim and May. We really appreciate it. And we appreciate you going to Donovan's... Uh, it's actually Donovan's Prime Seafood, downtown San Diego. They also have Donovan's Steak and Chop House. If you haven't been there, you should go there too because it is the consummate steak. Mm. Which, by the way, I'm doing some steak thing tonight. We're going to talk about sous vide in a little while. There it is right there over my shoulder yeah. staring at us. There's a couple of big fat ribeyes in there that we're going to deal with in a little while. But Donovan's been around a long time because they're absolutely amazing. Jim and May found that out, and you can find that out too. Go there, and while you're there... Order the Captain Crunch Seared Tuna. Yes. Sam, the cooking guy, Captain Crunch Seared Tuna that's on the menu. Yep. Uh, no, it's not on the menu as Sam, the cooking guy. Oh, it's on the bar menu as Sam, the cooking oh, guy. Oh, it is? It, but it doesn't apparently fit on the Was that a menu. rectified mistake or? Uh, no, no. It's always said Sam, the cooking guy in the bar menu, I mm. think. Mm, mm, but, the, mm. but the restaurant menu, I picked too long a name. I should yeah. have shortened up. I should have just been Steve. <laughs> or, or Bill or, or Sam. how about just Sam? And that's three letters. What's two Sam. letters? Some Chinese name. G. 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 X I. I'd just be G. That's what I could be. Shorten it right down. <laughs> yes, exactly. If you only if you're Asian. Dave uh, Wilmore writes, I've watched all your episodes, so kind of consider myself a super fan, even though I can't watch live. I work at 4 a.m. Eastern time and keep falling asleep just before you start. I understand that. I'd like to give my two cents worth. 
Love your show. I love that it's different. I love that it's uncut, uncensored. You're a great host, great entertainer, great everyday cook. You use real food, blah, blah, blah. Thanks for not putting us down. I'm not Jewish, not Canadian, not from San Diego. I've never been west of the Rockies, but you and I are a lot alike. We like the same foods, use the same language. We're both Stern fans, etc. If people want to see censored podcasts, then let them watch any slash all of the other cooking shows. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, you're different. You speak the way I do in the same way everyone I know does. Perhaps it's a northern thing. I agree with what Art said a couple episodes ago. Are you going to change your show concept? The concept that got you to 128 plus shows for a few people that aren't going to explode uh, if they hear the word fuck. That are going to explode if they hear the word fuck. That's they just need to eat more fiber. <laughs> what? There's a show idea. Fiber recipes for you anal retentive assholes. Uh, whoa. <laughs> Timing. 45 minutes is too short. You're rushed and it seems that something is missing when you're done. Plus, I listen on my 35-minute drive to work. I want to sit in the car in the parking lot to watch the last. There you go. Mm. He'd like it at 60 to 70 minutes. Be true to your real fans. Dave, in Holland... It looks like MI. I get Michigan. Michigan. Holland. It looked like an L just for a second. Uh, thank you, Dave. That's very cool of you. Yeah, it really is. Thank I appreciate you, Dave. that. I appreciate that. He gets that a it. Lot. Yep. Oh, then there's a P.S. Sorry. P.S. Number one, Kelly is cute as hell. As cute as hell. <laughs> wow, dude. Don't worry when you use the vent fan. We can barely hear it, but I have to constantly listen to the crew complain. Ooh. Same with church bells and sirens. Leave a supply of nine volt batteries in your desks and end tables. Put a new one in every day before starting. <laughs> oh. Have late. Wait, wait, there's two more. Thanks for the suggestion, buddy. Thanks a lot. Wait, 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 wait. Number four, have Lynn speak more often. Opinions, etc. He's actually a very interesting guy. He's just quiet. Mm. Yeah. And yeah. wait, and number five. <laughs> I was going to say, Max, shut up more. Number five, Max, pay attention to your dad. You repeat oh. a lot of what he says. If your job oh doesn't allow God. you to listen, perhaps talk less. Sorry, but you're good at your job, <laughs> not his. <laughs> Can I'd like just everybody to see what I what I'm in control of here. This is not anything that I can take lightly. So sometimes I'm managing all of this stuff, and I can't exactly hear what he has to say. So I'm sorry. <laughs> and now I have to change the camera back. There you go. There you go. All right, there we go. That's the end of it. And speaking of Kelly, Kelly and I were driving yesterday. I'm done talking. I, I figured you were. I figured you were no, going like to resetting the camera. No, so you're I, not. I meant not. forever. Re no, you're not. Yeah. You, you're a Zion, my boy. Done. You're never done talking. Don't talk to me. We can't Don't not talk. talk. <laughs> Don't ask me questions. I'm done. And speaking of Kelly, in the car yesterday, we're driving along. <laughs> this is going to be good. I'm afraid of this. <laughs> what? It's a, we talk a lot. So there's that moment. There's a lull in a conversation. Kelly's on her phone. This is what I hear from the seat beside me. I fucking hate Siri. <laughs> I go, I turn a little bit. She goes, she never does anything I want her to. <laughs> oh, wow. She doesn't. Kelly and Siri do not get along, and they haven't for a long time. We never have. We've just, we don't, we just have never connected. <laughs> my family says it's my voice and that it's not commanding enough. And you're not, you don't speak clearly enough. It's true. Let me ask this, Steve. Do you use Siri? I do. It's about fifty-fifty with me too. It's very frustrating. Max, Max, do you use Siri? Absolutely. Uh, Absolutely. Lynn doesn't have. No, Lynn I has use, another kind of phone. I use an Android. Mm -hmm. An Android. I have a Nexus. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, just kidding, dude. Wow, that was like the height of Apple consumerism right there. I know, right? Out. You know what? I've stopped I'm using so cool Siri. I have an iPhone. Really? I've what? stopped using Siri. I, I, I don't really know why. You know, what, I, what annoys me about her is for some reason, there's something that I do on the phone that pulls her up when I don't want her to be there. I know what it is. You hold the home key down. Ah. Well, it's either that or sometimes that if you take it. So Siri works when you just hold it up to your ear. Yeah, it's supposed to activate, and that you're probably doing maybe I'm doing that. You maybe I'm doing that. Yeah. Uh, are, are really? other people having trouble with Siri? Do you like Siri? You know what? I That's can't tell because of Facebook. I have no idea. People are posting my box to watch what people are posting is like this big. No, and it's I true. Can't see, Where? I can't like scroll down and go back into. Th 
look at my hands go back into the conversation yeah it's like and it's hard to refresh so because we're yeah. updating so fast we have to refresh and then re-click yeah on the recent post. i mean this is really like putting a cramp in our style totally. here it's like this, this is like a minute old and i have to hit refresh and then goes back to this so, page so and why did we make a change it. we didn't have no, you didn't. have to it's not an option I, yeah oh it's it's forced they, yes forced oh, okay. forced change it yeah, bumped us first. over and it's terrible like i can't i I I'll tell you what I like. I like that, Lynn, can you go back to the timeline for a second? Mm -hmm. Yes. I like that you can go to somebody's Facebook page mm -hmm. and you can go to a year and see what was going on with that person in that year. Yeah, so That's what, pretty cool. Uh, I know, okay, when you really have no time, you can go and see what no. you're... Whoa, 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 uh, look at that. That was that double pork chop that I made. Holy crap, that was huge. Back in 2010, I remember that. Yeah, wow, that was really good, huh? <laughs> you don't. You're <laughs> idiots. <laughs> you can really go and creep you're on your friends. Idiot. Oh, look. Another one of these pictures. Oh, jeez. I wonder how of many of those there are. So cute. Okay. Anyway, people are bitching about that. So I go to Vaughn's uh, supermarket yesterday. There's two things to talk about One, Vaughn's. One is I go there yesterday to buy whatever I have to buy. Mm -hmm. right? And I, as I'm getting there, I realize I have to pee really bad. Mm -hmm. And now I don't know about you guys. I'm the only 52-year-old in the room. <laughs> <laughs> Meaning there's oh, nobody God. older than me either, right? Sure. Oh God! And at some point, when you get at fifty-two, sometimes when I have to pee, it's like I gotta go right now. Like I'm not playing games. I have to pee. <laughs> so I know where the I know where the I know where the bathroom is. I walk into the store. I'm not like rushing. I'm not worrying about like peeing down my pants or anything. But I've got to pee. I'm not playing games. So I get over there. Bathroom door is unlocked. Thank God. I walk in. Just as the door is shutting behind me, I realize somebody has gone number two, and it's disgusting. Disgusting in the smell. It's all over the place. Is it all no, no, it's not all over the place. Okay, it's just, just smell. smell. Okay. It's like someone held it for eight years and then just blew up in there, right? It's terrible. Oh, no. I don't like the it topic. Would I don't, another fifty-two. I don't way. like to talk. No, I don't like to. I don't like the topic of number two very much. I don't want to get any more detail, but just it was a terrible smell. Yeah. So you have a choice. I think if I was thirty-two, I would have said no way, man. And I would have backed out. But I have to go so bad. I can't. I've got a good 20 minutes of shopping. I got to go. So I pee. What'd you do? I peed. I know, but wait, do you hold your breath? or? Yes, of course. You know, you tr <laughs> what, what you do what you do, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get out, whip open the door. I take one step out. One of the Vaughn's employees Waiting. goes right in behind me. So he thinks, oh, so he thinks no. that I fouled <laughs> up the bathroom. That's the best. And just as the door shut, I was like, ah, I was, it, well, it wasn't me. <laughs> Knock on the door. I, I want to like, uh, <laughs> I swear it wasn't me. I hate oh, that. That's oh, horrible. And there's nothing. In I had no choice. It was either that or I was going to have to go back to my car and drive home. Wait, did you have to right. do the thing where you have to go like that the whole time that you're in there? I was doing this. Yeah. Bad. <laughs> and you just, <sighs> And you don't want to breathe through your butt nose because you can smell it there. And you go, I'll just mouth breathe. But the idea that you're sucking in that terrible smell yeah, in your mouth, it. it's even I worse. It. I don't know <laughs> if I can, I can taste it. Taste it. <laughs> it's awful. Oh, anyway, no. so then I go and I, I do my checking out thing, right? Mm -hmm. And I like self-checkout because mm -hmm. so I don't have to talk to anybody. <laughs> I can keep my head down. I can do my own thing. I mean, they're great, but they're like, they're too friendly. It's like Stepford in that place sometimes. <laughs> They've been trained to be extra good. At your Vons? At my Vons. Okay. I, I believe all the Vonses have been told. Hmm. I heard this. If an employee is walking down an aisle yeah. and they meet your, your glance. Yeah, eye contact. Eye contact. They have to say, <laughs> oh, really? Oh, bless you. Bless you. So bless you. Bless you. Thank you. If they meet your glance, they have to say, I can't help you find something. Mm -hmm. wow. yeah. And then you go, yeah, what aisle is uh, the minute rice on? And they go, aisle four, can I show you? They are so good. They're good like that, right? But for some of them, it comes out way too like staged and posed. There's one guy in the produce section that says to me every time I'm there, hi, how are you today? Can I help you find something? I know he doesn't want to help me. Right. I know he's saying, can I help you? 
because he knows he has to because they send <laughs> shoppers in secret, secret shoppers that mark you guys know that right uh, stores restaurants businesses send secret shoppers out to do whatever they can do there they can buy groceries they can get their dry cleaning done they can have their oil changed and they check on every part of the business. Mm -hmm. Is the bathroom clean? Is this clean? Did they greet me the right way? Did they offer the extra services? Did they say, can I show you where the stuff is down the next aisle? That kind of stuff. I would love to be a secret shopper. That'd be that's, cool. That's I got yeah. so much stuff to complain about. I know, I know somebody who's just started doing it. Yeah? Really? I'd love How do you to do apply it. for that? That's Because I'm telling you, I, yeah, I don't get that experience at no, all. No, no. Well, you get the reverse experience than anybody gets, but. Yep. <laughs> And I know you think it's because you're... I think that's sometimes part of it. I, I guess I think it probably could be. Absolutely. Can we say the word? Because I'm, uh, I'm not of... Uh, yeah. Because you're not, you're not white. Black. Because you're black. Because I am of African descent. Yeah. Yes. I absolutely... Well, you're actually that. of American descent, but somebody in your family is of African descent. <laughs> oh, right. Well, that's a whole nother show. Anyway. Anyway. Wait. I still have this picture. So I go to checkout. I'm using the self-checkout thing. Uh -huh. And take a look at my screen. So there it is, right? You can see some of the things I bought. I bought some nectarines, some Honeycrisp apples, whatever, some strawberries, whatever it is, it's all good, right? If you don't know, if, it, if an item like garlic doesn't have a thing, a little tag on it, you hit no barcode, and then you look it up on the screen, it's all good. Everything's fine. But down in the bottom left-hand side of the thing, it says forgot club card and that's where you would hit that and you would put your phone number and you would get your discounts right mm -hmm. right when you walk up to the machine it says forgot club card i take offense to that i never forget my club card <laughs> what they're assuming i'm a fucking idiot <laughs> what <laughs> wait you have a physical club card that you carry around no 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 it just means you just put your phone number in uh-huh i know but i'm offended that they suggest that i have forgotten my club card why why can't it just say club card but you when you walk up before you card. do anything else at the machine it says forgot club card no i've done nothing else i haven't <laughs> forgotten anything <laughs> Is, do you, you get offended like when called out? Yeah, but you did forget your club card. I feel you like it, I feel I don't like what that implies. What right. if it says like forgot password? Hey, You're like no, hey, I just hey stupid, <laughs> yeah. hey stupid, you forget your club card. <laughs> ridiculous i think you're being just a little sensitive. well i'm just telling no, you lynn has a great feel. point every single password that you have yeah. to log in for the internet it says forgot password, password. right okay under the by login. the way here's the thing when forgot password comes up it's because you typed the wrong shit in three times no it's no, not it's, it's, always it's always there it says forget password no, yeah, it's yeah, always, always there, always there. Yeah, yeah. it's always there when you log in but it gives you the opportunity no, no, that's not no, no, right. No, no, no. no. You log in it's not it the good? same concept. It's, yeah, it's, it's a great point. Hey, if there was a okay, if <laughs> there were, if there was a spot here that said club card, push <laughs> beside it, forgot club card, that would be one thing. Yeah. But there's not even a place to just that's put good, it that's in. That's a good point. That's a thank you very point. much. I'm done. I'll be here all week trying to deal. <laughs> hey, can I address something on Facebook real quick? Yeah. So everybody's having a hard time trying to figure out where like your fans the. People are posting, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you see this page? Uh, no. On sorry, sorry. Our computer, my computer, real quick. Oh, I don't mean to judge. I'm not oh, judging. Okay. <laughs> now so I finally figured it out too. Scroll down past this part, and this this bar pops up. Change Whoa. highlights to post by others. And now, when you want to ask a question, you'll see everybody else post, and we can do what we normally do, which is, you know, read stuff. But still, what's the difference between I still left and right? Thank you. That's what I want to know. Look, it goes 20, 13 seconds, 22 seconds, a minute, a minute. Wow. It's I think it staggers. It's I just a timeline. Wait a second. Oh, it staggers. Yep. Is it? Was that what it is? That's the Yeah, look, each each so, post has a corresponding dot on that don't like Facebook management. <laughs> Wait, Max, go back up for a second. And by the way, this is courtesy to Bill McQuillan. He, he suggested this. Yeah. Go, no, go, no, sir, go back up. Up, up near the top. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. I saw the F word up there. Hold on. My favorite is when uh, the, the amount of okay comes up on the credit card pad. I always want to say no. <laughs> then is it free? <laughs> no, That's sir. what it is. No such luck. You're right. It doesn't. There is none of that. <laughs> God. That's, that is kind of funny. They ask, is the amount okay? Like, no, it's way too expensive. What do you think? Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, check this out. I got a, um, 
when people watch, so we post, look, that you can watch this live cast here if you're watching on the samlivecast.com uh, page. Mm -hmm. You can download from iTunes. You can download the audio from Stitcher. Do everything right there. But you can also go to YouTube. Mm -hmm. Again? You no, I don't know. I'm sorry. If you go to YouTube you. Mm -hmm. and you watch, you can leave a comment. Oh. So I get a comment the other day. Check this one out. Mm -hmm. And I wish I knew uh, this person's name. I'm, I don't know if it's a male or female. What episode is it on, by the way? Mm, I, I didn't copy that down. But here's what uh, X Pro, and then, then a number. I don't know if I should say that. Whatever said. <laughs> okay. You are awesome. I love this show so much. And I'll read exactly as written. I'm looking it in Russia. Really? Hmm. Really? Allow me to read this now with my most excellent Russian accent. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Add it to the list. Well, there goes our Russian fan. <clears throat> no, 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 no. I'm just kidding. <laughs> you are awesome. I love these shows so much. I'm looking it in Russia. <laughs> That's pretty good. Actually, not bad. It's not bad. I mean, none of us are Russian. Here's, but... the, here's the question for X-Pro. Can you see Sarah Palin's house from where you live? Oh, wait. That's actually hilarious Get that there. you just mentioned Sarah Russia. Palin because you know you're going to be cooking with her on the Today Show next time you're there, right? She's going to be there tomorrow. She's co-hosting the second hour. You're, you're going to cook with her. You're cooking with her tomorrow. No, 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 no. no Max, is really. saying, Max is saying. The next, yeah. Can you imagine the next time he's there? Him and you know Sarah what this Palin? is? It's interesting. Uh, I've been on the Today Show a dozen times. And I always assumed that the Today Show was the big dog. It's so fun. this last ratings period, the Today Show won it. I can't remember how long it was for, for a day, whatever, whatever moment was measured. And maybe it was a moment. Uh -huh. They won their time slot over ABC's Good Morning America right. mm -hmm. by like 200,000 viewers, which in that yeah. world is not very much. Wow. It's, yeah. They were at like four, we'll say they were at like four million uh, point four point two million people watching the Today Show, ABC, Good Morning America, four million, and then CBS. What is it? CBS This Morning, something like that. CBS This Morning was it like two point one million? CBS with that old guy and Gail King. Who's yeah. that old guy? What's his name? Peter, Max. Peter Pete. Max. No. On I don't I don't really watch those morning shows. He was on KPBS. Yeah, he used to be Forever. on KPBS. He's a little uh, dry. So Peter you know what's King? interesting? Peter I King? watched who? Not Peter King. No, no, no. no. I watched a clip from the CBS Morning Show mm -hmm. with that that old guy. I don't know what his name is. Oh, I forget his he name. probably has to pee way more than I do. He's wearing, way worse, uh, with much more urgency than I do. He's wearing the pants. Go on. <laughs> he's wearing the pants. <laughs> so him and Gail King, Oprah's buddy, mm -hmm. interview. Oh. It's all she's known for, by the way. Interviewing, <laughs> interviewing <laughs> Oprah. King, Oprah's buddy. <laughs> interviewing Oprah about how Oprah's own, the Oprah Winfrey Network, is not doing what she thought it would be doing. Yeah. Mm. Oprah said, if I'd known that it would be this hard and like this, I might have done something else. Wow. Oh, really? Yeah. She's came out and said she came out yeah, and said that. Yeah, she came out and wow. said that. Wow. Turns well, out, Gail King, who's on CBS show, maybe she's feeling the same thing. Wow. I'd known we'd be way down. They've been down third for a long time, but whatever. All right. <clears throat> oh, hey. People let's are talk. asking what the bag yeah, was, on the Oh, the bag. Was. I meant to talk about the bag. So do you know what this is, mm -mm. Steve? It's a bag. Yeah, black eyed peas. There you go. <laughs> uh, I didn't. I only went to you because you were first. I was going to oh, ask everybody else. It wasn't a black thing. <laughs> it wasn't a black thing. Wait, Max. If I'd done this, would you have known what this was? Um, only because they've been sitting there for about a week now. <laughs> That's, That's another thing too. People have been yeah. asking the whole week. I put yeah. shit here wanting to talk about it. I was in Henry's the other day, sprouts. and they've got the bulk sprouts. sprouts. They changed the name. Mm -hmm. They've got the bulk bins. Yep. Looking for whatever. Kids stick their hand. Oh, go ahead, no, no, those ones. They, <laughs> right. Those ones they do. These are the upright ones that they can't. Right. And I saw the black eyed peas and I thought, I hear about them. I know beans in general are very good for you. I'm going to buy some. I don't know what the hell to do with them though. So I thought I would reach out to the live cast nation and see if somebody had just a great simple recipe for what I could do with these. 
Do you have something great I can do with these? Then I'll do them one night. I want to, I want to eat more beans. I have a question. I yep. have, oh, beans. Black eyed peas or beans? Well, uh, well, I think it's a misnomer. Yeah. Yeah, it's technically a bean. They're technically okay. beans. But legumes, these things are legumes. super, legumes are super good for you. Okay, but sorry, my question that yep. I was going to ask is, are black eyed peas traditionally used in southern cooking? Yes. Definitely okay. a lot more. And you know when they're, when they're, when they're at their height of popularity? Do you know? When? Uh, I think it's New Year's Eve, right? Is it? I think black eyed peas on New Year's Eve or New Year's Day signify something. Huh. They sprout? Are they in plants? Or I mean, I just don't, I don't get it. Right? I, I don't know, actually know how beans grow. How do beans grow? Lynn, get on. Lynn? <laughs> I'm, Lynn. What do I look like? Google? <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> I know. We go to the black eyed peas question forget. to the black guy. Dave Wilmore, wa- Dave to Wilmore wants to hear more from you, Lynn. That's true. He does. <laughs> and by the way, just let me say, there's no... Uh, I'm, there's Max, no t- I'm, I'm guessing you and I should just start shutting up. Yeah, probably. <laughs> There's no truth to the fact that uh, Lynn is passing idea. himself off as Jeremy Lynn in coffee shops around the country. I, okay. By the way, let's just tell us, Lynn. Can we just go through the story so people? Wait, how expensive was the cup of coffee you had yesterday? <laughs> how, really what I got, what up? I bought it for, how much was it? Let's just go how much it was. because it How was, much was the cup of coffee? It was supposed to be $9. Okay, excuse me. Excuse me. Is anybody out there mm. a perturbed... That some oh, yeah. restaurant coffee shop sells a cup of coffee for nine dollars. Mm-hmm. As I said earlier, <laughs> I, I, I won't say. It you know, that's just fine, maybe you like, should just say it. it. Look, it's not. I'm, I'm going to say it wasn't worth it. It's not for everybody, and I just wanted to try. It's it not for it. anybody. <laughs> Who's buying nine dollar cups of coffee? Hey, you buy. Well, people spend money on foie gras, which is obviously a luxury thing. You know, Dude. people buy expensive. Watches that cup and of coffee better do a lot more than just. <laughs> Go like down, what, right. Sam? Like a I, I don't even want to foot say. Foot massage? If like, the whole, you know. Foot massage. There you go. Hey, I'm not defending. Look, there's a three-year-old. We know there's three-year-olds Just watching. Saying. So wait, describe the cup. I'm watching. The cup. <laughs> oh, yeah. That don't was forget cute. about her over there. That right? was really cute. Kelly, in her, you're in a blue mood today, Kelly. Blue? Yeah, look at the screen. But I really sometimes <laughs> wonder if she's watching. Yeah. Yeah, she's right. nice. No, Just actually, kidding. I'm bored tonight. We all... Re- <laughs> <laughs> Why? Well, the show's taken a decidedly upbeat turn. It has. We're all having fun here. After you started off the show, like, hey, everybody. Hey, dude. <laughs> it's called what am I? Oh, we're at the same light. Oh, hey, what am I doing? Gary. Oh, wait, what's with the lighting? It sucks back there. I didn't say sucks. <laughs> By the way, if you have something that you know to do with black eyed peas, send it. Send it. Yeah. If we like it, we'll do it. I used to just eat them with ketchup. It's the best. So did your mom cook them overnight? No, it's my dad. My dad is from the South. You're right. That's right. Yeah. Um, my mom's from Ethiopia. So, it's did, your, so did your dad cook them overnight? Uh, is that the thing to do? I don't think so. I think I there's think a quick... I think he used to just do be, uh, can. I, can I, black, black oh, yeah. right, 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 yeah. right, right. He you wasn't much of a cook. Right. He is not much of a cook, yeah. Right. Do you want to see a picture of black eyed peas in a garden? Yeah, I don't know how any beans grow. I think honestly, they grow just like normal. Beanstalk. Are they yeah. below? Are they below the uh, earth? I think they grow in pods. Like in a clump? They grow in pods, I think. Oh, they grow in pods, and then they're dried. Yeah, they're I guess vines. so. Oh, what about Jack and the Beanstalk? Exactly. Yeah, Jack and the Beanstalk. There, big, there you go. That's yeah. true. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, <laughs> how do we not know that? Yeah, how did we not know that? He's the educated one. <laughs> Is that education kicking in. Hey. Um, <laughs> All right, so we, we said we were going to talk about sous vide, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Can you just spell it? Yes, sous vide. Uh, two words, S-O-U-S space V-I-D-E. And that's a French word? French term meaning under pressure. Under pressure. Right? Under vacuum, sorry. Yeah. Under oh, vacuum. It's under pressure. That's, that's under pressure? Yeah, under pressure. Okay. Work every day. Thank you, Lynn, Lynn corrects me. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the deal with sous vide. And, and this thing behind my shoulder is a sous vide machine and they're really really basic i mean there's not a lot of technology to them but they do some very special stuff inside that thing that we'll we'll show you in a couple of minutes is nothing but water the steaks that are in vacuum bags and that's it just think of it as a constant temperature water bath and what that means is you can see i don't know what the temperature on that says that says 134 point 
Zero. Yeah. Went 33.8. Why is it changing so much? <laughs> That's the temperature inside. So what that means is whatever you put in that will cook to that temperature, but not cook beyond that temperature. Mm -hmm. And that so, temperature is like basically what you would order at a restaurant, right? So what I have in there, so if we take a look at, if, we, if you take, um, hold on one sec. Oh, when food it. is served, that's the temperature it's usually served well, at? You ask okay. for so here's the deal. Rare. If, you t if you take my computer right now, here's what I dealt with. Huh. I dealt with um, a couple, I took a couple of very thick, like this big in my fingers, Max. Oh, sorry. Oops, that's okay. <laughs> this thick, uh, two um, boneless uh, ribeye fillets. Mm -hmm. right? Which are typically very hard to cook, right? I mean, to well, me, like when it grills. I mean, grill here's the, that's, very that's the thing. The difference between a steak cooking to the temperature you want and the temperature you don't want, either too high or too little, can be as, as little as a minute extra sure. or little too little. Right. Or, or a minute too little. That's the thing about whether you cook in a pan mm -hmm. or you cook on the grill outside. You get to that point and then 30 seconds, 45 seconds more, you're there. And or over it, right? Yeah. So 134 for me is about a perfect medium rare. So here's the beautiful part of this. So I took these two steaks, keep looking at the page, right? And there they are. Look, you can see how thick they are. I mean, that's, these are a couple of big insane. boys. I, I bought intentionally huge fat ones because I want it, because that's the problem. Mm -hmm. Cooking a big steak is difficult to do just in a pan. I season them very simply with nothing more than kosher salt and fresh ground pepper, like you'll see in the picture, right? I then took them and I vacuum sealed them in uh, two uh, vacuum bags. Question? So this is a separate machine? Separate machine. Right. Yeah, sorry. Does that come with the kit? No, so separate. You gotta, okay. Yeah, you got it. And I just borrowed this thing. Sure, this is sure. not my, I don't own this thing. Right. I'd like to own it, but I don't own it. You can still do it in um, Ziploc bags too. Yeah, you could do it in Ziploc bags. You know, when I make Zach lunch in the morning, <laughs> when I make him a sandwich, I get the sandwich in the Ziploc bag. And then I take a straw, I zip the little thing along, I leave about this much, I put the straw in and I go. Really? <laughs> I suck out the air and I seal it. Is it doing anything that's going to be noticeable <laughs> to him? Three hours later when he's that's starving, true, no, not a fucking thing. No. He's like, wow, this is nicely sealed. <laughs> nice Wait, sealed. I'm that's curious. It. Yeah. That Lynn just said Ziploc bags. You can really take Ziploc bags and throw them into 140 degree water and Absolutely. they are just completely fine? You want the, no, you want the air out. Obviously, and you want the air out, but I, I, in my mind, the plastic is going to melt at that no, time. No, 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 no. It, it won't do it at that. They do oh. recommend using freezer bags. Freezer bags because they're just slightly oh, okay. thicker. Okay, that they're makes more slightly sense denser. to me. It's like lukewarm huh. water. It's pretty okay, much Kelly warm. has such issues with this it's unbelievable oh, and this would probably be the thing that would keep me from cooking sous vide for her i i think i've said it before kelly's a mental eater and i don't mean mental like crazy i mean mental like she internalizes things and thinks about stuff too much and for some reason she just can't get her head around it i mean that's all, it's okay it is what it is I've done this you? before. If I sit in a restaurant with Kelly and they bring a plate of fish, we have the same thing, and I go, oh my, I'm thinking to myself, that's the best smelling thing I've ever smelled. And then I pick up my plate and I go like this, and I smell it. Kelly will think that I'm smelling because the fish is bad, <laughs> and she'll take her plate and she'll push it away and she'll go, I'm done. <laughs> and she won't eat it. Like it'll psych her out. Totally psych her out. Wow. Oh, yeah. I'm having a problem with the food bath. <laughs> Okay. It's a water bath. It's not a food bath. bath. It's food not bath. like the meat is in there by itself, just floating no. in liquid. No. Laying around. It was just okay. It was warm. Concern. It was warm. No, it's and definitely. And that's the other thing is the food, because it's this like lukewarm Way to bath. Go. Thank you so much. You're not helping me get this machine full the, time. My, the food was <laughs> I'm only kidding. warm. Okay. Well, look, the, I the know food where you was warm. I know where you are. In the, okay, so here's the deal. I've set the machine to 134 degrees. If I cook a steak outside on the grill, I like to pull it off at 129 or 130. If I cook it in a pan, I like to pull it off at 129 or 30 because I know while it's resting, it will increase in temperature 
three, four degrees. Right. No sweat. Mm-hmm. Yep. I don't know why it does. In foil, right? You put it in foil? I just, I just cover it. Or cover it. Okay. Right? It's the resting period. Any steak you cook, you have to pull off the grill, you have to take out of the pan, and you have to let sit for 5, 10, 15 minutes. Just let the juices redistribute in the thing. Mm-hmm. It'll be better finished cooking. You'll be, have a much better steak. I'm going for 134 degrees. I vacuum seal these steaks in the bags. I dial the machine to 134. Now, if they're in there for, and they've been in there since uh, five, right? Five o'clock. Yeah. So if they're in there for two hours or four hours, they will not get beyond 134 degrees. That's just the way it is. Just don't get it. They're completely <laughs> done. Uh, you're going to get it when I cut into them. Okay. That's the amazing part. Well, let's yep. put it this way. If, for instance, you could set your oven to 134 Sorry, degrees. Sorry, I tried. <laughs> Sorry, Le- Sorry Steve, 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 Steve. I tried it. to hold it. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, yeah, if you could set your oven to, let's say, 134 degrees, which is ridiculously low for an oven. Right. And it can hold it there for a long time. Theoretically, you could just throw a steak in there. Eventually, it would be medium rare, right? I guess eventually. I mean, I think it would start to degrade after a bunch of hours. But look at, uh, like the restaurant that uh, some of us have eaten at, Momofuku in in New York. The chef's name is David Chang, and when he first opened his first restaurant, he did something that he called ghetto sous vide, <laughs> and then he would put a steak or some kind of protein, fish, chicken, whatever it was, in a Ziploc bag, take the air out. And then he would get the water coming out of his tap as close to 130, whatever the tap, say 130 degrees as he could. Uh And he would just put the steak in it, in the bag for a couple hours. Yeah. You don't need a machine. You just need one way to keep the temperature close. I know people that put a pot on the stove with a lot of water in it on, on whatever low enough is to keep it right around that mark. If it starts to get higher than 134 degrees, we'll say, they put a handful of ice in. Huh. If it goes too low, they turn it up a little bit. Wow. The beautiful part of this is that it, um, it does it for you. Mm-hmm. You yeah. don't have to think. So it's controlling that temperature. Right. Constant temp water bath. Take my computer now, and that's what these steaks in their bags look like cool. inside of this thing. They're sitting there. That's right after I put them in. So that, that's what's going on in there, right? Mm-hmm. So imagine you could put a lot of stuff in there. And of course, it doesn't have to be a protein. It doesn't have to be steak, chicken, fish, pork, or duck, or whatever. It could be vegetables. Lynn, what do you do with your eggs? Oh, you throw it in at oh, I don't, 62.5 degrees Celsius. Right. And then that's the temperature in which the yolk is still running. By the way, none of us are Asian. Can you... Can, can you change 62.5 degrees Celsius into Fahrenheit for us? Uh, Google can do it for me, but oh. let me talk about it first. Uh, Great. So, 60, so a certain temperature, right? And that's the temperature in which the yolk is still runny and the whites are like firm. slightly firm. It's about right. 150 degrees. One of my favorite restaurants in San Diego right now, a place called Underbelly, an amazing ramen place. Indiana. They serve a beautiful bowl of ramen with a perfectly cooked soft boiled eggs sitting on top of it and when you bust it open with your chopsticks all that ro- yolk runs out it's mm-hmm. a it's, it's, great. it's amazing great. It's the best part of the restaurant best part of the restaurant yeah, right. yeah. and the oxtail dumplings the oxtail dumplings that you have amazing. to get extra yeah and the chasu belly is pretty darn good yeah and the gyoza is fantastic there's it's not good. too many things i don't like in that place oh it's good yeah it's really i like good. it a lot double it and add 30. oh you're right celsius right Right. That's back from when we left <laughs> when we left Canada. Uh, the metric system was just coming into play. And so when we go there now and they say it's going to be, you know, 25 degrees, we go, what is that? And they go, double it, yeah, 50, and add 30, 80. That's, That's pretty close. close. You're within a degree or two. Yeah, yeah. it's around 30. You, you know, right. we're the last country, I think, on the face of the planet. To not have Celsius? To not have the system. metric system. Metric system. That's so, so smart. They just changed three, when yeah. you guys left. So they used to use. Oh, it was 25 yeah. years ago, man. Wow. Yeah, interesting. Yeah. It's been a long time. And by the way, one other thing about Canada. Mm-hmm. I had a conversation with somebody from Canada this weekend. We're talking about swearing on TV down here. Here's the deal. You can say shit on TV in Canada up to nine o'clock at night. No problem. Shit. You can't say shit down here. No. 905. Fuck. No problem. Really? Yeah. Yeah, that's so strange. It's no problem. They're very progressive. Huh. Very progressive. 
<laughs> you get caught, you get busted with marijuana. As long as you don't have like a pound and a half of it in your trunk, they got better things to worry about. Keep driving. Don't speed. Take the tint off your windows. Say please and thank you. See you next week. Mm. Yeah. It's a pretty progressive company, uh, country. And by the way, if you haven't been, you should go. I'll post the, uh, we shot a show in Vancouver, which is an amazing city. Mm -hmm. Great weather's coming up now. And I should start to post those, those segments because you should go. To, I'm not on commission. I don't make anything if you go to Canada, but you should go because it's a great spot. Love it. Steve loves it. Steve and I spent four, four rainy days there. <laughs> And we still loved it, still right? Loved it. it was amazing. Is it doable in a weekend? Mm. Mm. No, I, no, you won't. I go time. Thursday. It's do it's doable, but you're not going to have enough time to do what you want. Get up there Thursday at noon. And we're talking like one city, like just Vancouver. Just Vancouver. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Thursday, Thursday Monday, at noon, you'd have the rest of Thursday, all Friday, all Saturday, and mm -hmm. Sunday. That's doable. Okay, mm -hmm. absolutely. Just wondering. Plus, they say some of the best Chinese food in the world. Oh, it's amazing. Yeah. Condé Nast That's, Traveler Magazine. All Asian food, Steve. Thai food. Uh, no, but Condé Nast Traveler Magazine in December of 2011, I think, said Vancouver had the best Chinese food in the world. That's quite a memory That's, you got there. Thank you. It's either 2011 or That's 2010. It's quite a statement. It's quite a statement. But I've been to China and I've been to Vancouver and I have to say it's, it's pretty it's damn pretty good. damn good. Right? And the it's, Japa dog is worth the Japa dog. a weekend trip. I'll tell you that. We should do a Vancouver show. I mean, I mean, it's, I just mean talking about it, but it'd be cool to go there. And, mm -hmm. Yeah, cool to go there and do some stuff. All right. Okay. So, look, I got. I want to. I want to get the steak out. Right, the steaks out. I want to show you what what is possible. What the sous vide can do with very little work. Oh yeah. Because really, that's pretty interesting. I'm ready. Uh, get but ready before for we, warm meat. Oh. Wow, that's. Do you know how many times he drops his mic, mic pack all the time? <laughs> By the way, just let me say, before we, uh, before we uh, jump into the kitchen, uh, Fixtures Living has been a sponsor of ours for a long time now. Uh, we love having them. We have a live cast, a remote live cast coming up there on the 11th, which is next week. And you can come down. We want you to come down. They're on Dowdy Street in San Diego, which is off Miramar Road. The live cast starts at 6. They close at 5. So you can come down. You can hang out. You can watch us do this thing just like we do it here. Max and I will argue. <laughs> Kelly will be pissed off. <laughs> the dogs will be there. Looking just like this. Steve, look at the dogs. Get that shot. Wait, we're going to bring the dogs? That's one dog, right? I can't tell oh, sometimes. Man. Yeah, that's one dog. Well, oh, we should bring the dogs. Yeah. yeah. We'll bring the dogs. It'll be lots of fun. Fixtures living on Dowdy Street in San Diego. There's also one in Costa Mesa. There's also one in Rancho Mirage. But if you want anything, kitchen, bath, or outdoor, that's the only place to go. And that's all I have to say. I'm ready to cook. Everybody else? We're ready. Let's hit it. There we go. There you go. <laughs> Got a bit of an emergency here. I'd forgotten. Here's the deal. So about 5.30, we, we test all the microphones, right? And there's one here. Mm -hmm. Ouch. Steve has one. There's one over at the, at the couch where Kelly is. There's the one that I use over there. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Wow. We test them. And then that means the mics are on until whenever. Um, I had to go pee. Of course, this is the pee cast. Welcome to the pee cast. <laughs> and you were talking about the poo and pee thing just the other night. <laughs> we were talking about those pee, poo and pee dolls. Anyway, I took my, I, I turned my um, mic pack. This is this is my, what I hear. Uh oh shit. <laughs> This is what I, my ear thing, and this is my mic pack. I turn the mic pack off to go pee. I don't really care if Lynn listens, but he doesn't have, I don't want to force him to listen. And I don't want to go to the bathroom and go, I'm going to go pee now. So he goes, all right, and he takes his headphones off. I'm just trying to be polite. So I turned it off, but I forgot to turn it back on again. And then I came in here, and Lynn knew, so he starts yelling, turn your mic pack on, and I forgot, and I had to do it. Whatever. Okay. So, 
I've got two cast iron pans going here. Obviously, you only really need one for what we're going to do for the steak. But I didn't want to just serve the fillets by themselves. I wanted a little thing to go with them. I mean, there's not a lot of learning for you guys if all I'm doing is taking a bag out of warm water, as Kelly says, and then cutting it up. So I'm going to sear the fillet when it comes out here. Because what the sous vide does is it cooks it all the way perfectly, all the way through. What it doesn't do is give it any crust on the outside or any color on the outside. That part we have to take care of ourselves and we're going to do that. But rather than just cut a piece of ribeye and take a bite, I wanted to put a little something on it. So we're going to do this little tomato thing that I really like. Hey, before you start, really can like I cut to yes. Facebook really quick? Of course. Andrew okay. Hurst. Post on Facebook, my mom used to make black eyed peas when I was young and I texted her. This was her response. Well, as a child, my mom used to pick them and bring them home many pounds. We would string them. Then you pretty much pop them into water, bacon, salt and pepper. That's it. Oh, I know. The bacon part, I kind of have gotten a sense of from talking to a couple other people. Mm -hmm. Is that cooked with bacon? Yeah. Cooked with bacon. In the water. Pot, pot with water, bacon and salt and pepper. That's, and that's it. it. And we're how totally long do gonna to cook do. For? Um, uh, we can find out, but we're totally gonna do southern southern food cooking week. We should, and you know what else we need? Donnie when we probably do that? is out there. Donnie in Ocean Springs, Mississippi. We need we need some of those people that that talk like this, y'all. Yes, we do. Terry and Gay Win in Mississippi. People are responding. They're from Mississippi. Yeah, Terry and Gay. Remember? That's a, oh, that's right. The email. South Southern Week. Uh huh. Southern Food Week. We can make hush puppies. Okay, by the way, uh, the, the, the steaks are going to smoke and I'm going to need to use the fan. And now that we know that people don't care about it, I'm going to turn it all the way up. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to I wanna just get this thing set. So I've got the tomatoes. They're just, look at these little, what are these called? Teardrop tomatoes? Cherry tomatoes. Cherry tomatoes. Cherry tomatoes, right? These guys, I just cut them in half. You can put them in whole, but when you cut them in half, you get a little bit more sort of juice out, makes a little bit more sauce. I have some olive oil here that's going to go in. Boom. I have a little salt and pepper that's going to go in. I have the garlic that I've got right here that we're going to throw in in a second. And, and something else, Steve, something else that I'm forgetting. Basil? Balsamic. Uh, balsamic, balsamic vinegar, this way. I tasted oh, some amazing balsamic up at the oh. farmer's oh, yeah, market. You don't even have, oh, you did? Mm hmm Here we go. No, he no I will next out. time, though. <laughs> no, the child didn't bring any out. They're kids. They think about themselves. Sandy writes, hush puppies don't come from the south. They come from Long John Silvers. <laughs> really? <laughs> wait, wait. Do we, we don't have a Long no, John Silver here, do No, I think they do, do Max, but uh, she's yeah. saying that you can We have one here? <laughs> yeah. Sure have you ever eaten there? Yes. Long time ago. Any good? No. It's not good. I, I love Long John Silver. Unless they want to be you a love sponsor it? of the I love show. It. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, we got a tweet from uh, Soup Plantation today. They want you to make a recipe for them. Well, that's funny. Really? Yep, I tweeted them back. Here, I'll try and pull it up right now. I'll do that. We used to eat there all the time. Like, oh, hell yeah. When you guys were little. I could still eat there if it wasn't quite, if there weren't so many kids. I think we were actually <laughs> banned. There are a lot of kids. I think we were banned. Oh, no. <laughs> we might have been banned. Okay, so here's the deal. Watch this. Oh, shoot. Okay, I'm good. So in this pan, I probably shouldn't have started this so early. Damn it. Oh. I don't think I can do that. I think i got to wait a second. I'm sorry. I want this thing super hot. So let's, like, all right, let's deal with the steaks first. The tomato thing, I'm going to take the steaks out, sear them, put them on a pan for about two minutes, and then we'll be fine. <laughs> okay, so ready, Steve? Ready to see what the sous vide machine has for us. Oh, Here yeah. We go. So here's what you got. You've got gray meat. <laughs> so anticlimactic. I know. Isn't it? It really is. <laughs> but it's only 134 degrees. No, but so it probably tastes so good. Wait. Right now, so you can see. All I've done right here is kosher salt pepper, right? I'm gonna take these guys out. No olive oil, no nothing, honey. Uh, I kinda need to, well, 
I'll do them this way. You so, have fans that are trying to talk about a tried and true fan. They're trying to watch you and the basketball game. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's huge. Oh, that's a big game tonight. Like that's Atlanta's champing his yeah. foot over there. He's like, wrap it up. Wrap it up. I didn't even think about that. Big day. Okay, so like, here's this bag, right? You bust the bag open. Mm-hmm. Feels all right. They just those steaks just took a jacuzzi, mom. And here's yeah. the deal. Oh, they here's what so I've done. Clean. Wow, that's a big. That's a big freaking steak, yeah, man. Yeah, that's insane, Dad. And I left all the fat on because <sighs> I want the fat to help flavor the whole thing when we throw it into the uh, the pan. Wow, this is gonna be good. Kelly doesn't like a ribeye. The boys, if it wasn't obvious, this is all about us tonight. <laughs> this is all about men. <laughs> But it shouldn't be all about men. It's only about men because A, Kelly, is she's not like down with the whole thing yet. And she doesn't really like a ribeye because it's too fatty for her. So what you don't want to put a steak in a pan with liquid on it. So you're just getting any liquid off. And so here's the thing. Look how ugly that steak is. I mean, really? Nobody wants to eat anything that looks like that. But so here's how we fix that. We've got this nice hot pan sitting on here. And the, the heat is on full blast. So you had on high the whole time. Had on high the whole time. So now we're going to just give it a little olive oil. Right? Lots of smoke. Turn this up. And in these two steaks will go. Wow. So it doesn't need a lot. It's going to take a couple of minutes. Uh, maybe a minute on each side and then we're going to take it out and now I'll get ready to do this tomato thing again Suvide, I mean it's pretty cool it's pretty cool that thing is loud yeah, there's the color you want right? how long has it been? 30 seconds? Yeah, leave the fat, you know. A little fat never hurt anybody. Am I right, Steve? Absolutely. The last time uh, we went to uh, Donovan's, we shared the bone-in ribeye, uh, which I think I said it the other day. Any kind of protein with bone attached just adds extra flavor. All right, so we're about a minute. We're going to turn these guys over. Nice, right? Nice. So now this oil here, not hot enough yet. Darn it. The fan's loud to me. You sure it's so loud? loud to, is it loud to you? I don't have my headphones no, on. No, it's, really yeah, it's really loud. It's really loud. Well, it is what it is. <laughs> Right? So why do you need the uh, tomato pan so hot? Because I, I want the tomatoes to just do their thing really nicely in here. I could probably throw them in. So here goes the tomatoes. Because I want the tomatoes to like break down a little bit. And a super hot pan is going to... If you don't have a cast iron pan, I just I would go out and buy one. All right, so this is enough. We're almost done with that fan, boys. It's actually not even that bad. I think we hear it worse than everybody else, obviously. Yeah. Right. Those, those just have the most unbelievable color. And what does a cast iron pan do as opposed to like just a regular... Here's the deal. I mean, it just... It's a great question. The beautiful part of a cast iron pan is it just gets things... It, does a, it makes a beautiful crust on things that like a non-stick pan can't do. It's, um, 
It can get to like a, you know, 800 degrees, 500 degrees without any, any problem. It's very difficult to put a non-stick pan in the oven and let it get that hot. If I was cooking these steaks just in this pan, I'd have to put the whole pan in the oven and then I'd want it to get really hot and it would be tough to do that with anything else. All right, I'm gonna throw the garlic in here now. That's enough. It's even bothering me. So we've got the tomatoes here, little garlic right down the middle. Little olive oil on that, just to let it do its thing. Let it just start to get really flavorful. Wow, the steaks are gonna be good. Question. Answer, yes. Ribs, sous vide. I hear it's doable. Um, would you need a, I mean, oops, you would need a longer one, obviously. Uh, no, you would probably just cut them. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, here's the thing, unless you're buying a commercial version of the sous vide machine, you're not gonna find anything longer. Oh wait, so a commercial version, is that gonna be like a huge one? It's a lot bigger, that's for sure. And they use in restaurants. Oh, oh snap. You all right? Yeah, but I'm really pissed off. Yeah. <laughs> Gosh, I know I'm slamming on your feet. Dude. What do I do? You guys know the line? Jeff, Anything can happen. Do you have any idea how good that was smelling? Back up, dude. I'm, hey, I'm I, not, I can smell it back here. I'm I not, wasn't looking. That must be look crazy. I'm not, we have no fucking tomatoes. No, there's two behind you on the thing over there. Where? In, in the garden? No, right there unless he used them. Two? Okay. Oh, what a I bummer. didn't see that. Was that crazy? Well, okay, it wasn't that crazy. I just dropped it. Just stick it back in the pan. It's, the heat will kill everything. Oh, stop. <laughs> well, now it's like way past Let's the five second rule. The They're too far now. Watch. Okay, well, I'm getting tomatoes. I don't care if anybody else is. <laughs> this is it? This oh. is how we'll have extra time tonight. This is what wow, the I like. am so pissed now. I can't believe that. You know how disappointing that is? Hmm. Oh, good. How does everybody feel about that? I'm okay. I'm mad. Lucky's here to clean up. I'm using this no, super no, no. sharp knife to Don't have piss Lucky. me off. Yeah, Lucky, get out of here. It. Lucky. It's oh too my hot. God. That was so mean. Lucky, come here. He's going to sniff. He's going to know. Well, now i got to work around this. <laughs> no, sorry, baby. You can't come here. That's not for you. Oh, look at the kid. Oh. No, boo boo, I'm sorry. No, honey. No, 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 no. No, look what I have to do. Do you have any idea how amazing that was going to be? Yes. Yes, oh my it smelled so good. God. You take those cherry tomatoes and you put them in it. You do a pasta with them. Oh. We've done I that on them. a live cast I for love sure. Them. Wait. I apologize, ladies and gentlemen. That is not what was supposed to happen here today. <laughs> hey, oh. Nice. Oh my God. God. That was cool. Let me just say, I've, I've said it before, if, you're, if you end up in your kitchen and you're cooking something and that little flambe happen, thing happens unexpectedly, it, the flame will go down. Whatever you should, whatever you do, don't like jerk the pan towards you because you'll end up with all the hot, flaming, greasy, oily stuff on I, you. I could imagine somebody doing that. Yeah. Uh, I'm really sad about this. I'm sad uh, because for so many reasons. Well, hey, you're making new ones right now, are you no, not? No, no, one because, I, well, because I don't have enough. It's okay. Oh, I'm so bummed. <sighs> Live TV. Mm -hmm. Anything can happen. Is. Oh. What? Oh. Just lose something? <laughs> no, no, you're good. You're good. Just sorry. Yeah. Keep going. All right. Okay. Coffee down. You sure? All right, here we go. Now garlic. Crap. 
Crap, 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 and crap. Damn, now everything's, now I'm mad. <laughs> We're back to the beginning of the show. <laughs> we full made circle. a full circle. <laughs> it was looking so good. We still got two gorgeous steaks. Okay, here's what we did. A little bit of this, That's pepper. A little salt, and now some balsamic vinegar. How do you say it? Balsamic? Balsamic. I never see it. <laughs> Balsamic? <laughs> Here we go. Look at that. Okay, turn that way down. Ooh. Let it do its thing. All right, here we go. Here's what we want for the steaks. Where do we, oh, I want to put this on something. These steaks are so big. Oh, I forgot this. This has to go in. This is almost the worst day ever. I'm so, I'm exhausted. A handful of parsley, man. Oh, shit. It's got to go in that thing. Okay. Now that this has happened, a tiny bit more of this. Just let it sit in there for a second. A little of this. Now we're going to be fine. Okay. Here's what we do. We take one of these steaks. <laughs> you have another drink. <laughs> we have some of that because we're so mad that that's happened. Wow, look at that beautiful oh, steak. Jesus. Okay, but here's, here's the point. The point is for we're, what we're about to see. That We hope everything else hasn't like thrown, off, thrown us off our game so terribly. Right here, Steve? This should be beautiful. Oh, okay. wow. See, that's the thing. Jeez. But here's the, here's the deal, ladies and gentlemen. From edge to edge. It's the same. It's the same. <laughs> There's a little bit of, you know, a little bit of um, well done color here because that's where it was seared. And you know what's weird? It gets a little pinker after you cut it. I don't know if you noticed that. See, that's just like prime oh. to me. It's so See, weird. See, Kelly, Kelly has, she's over there with issues, man. I, I get it that it's amazing and I can see the way it's cooked, but. It's the meat jacuzzi that. <laughs> the meat <laughs> jacuzzi. <laughs> <laughs> okay, look, so we just take this little handful of slices, right? Mm -hmm. Right there. I mean, of course you could just eat it like that, right? But we're just going to give it a little bit of this second round tomato thing that, jeez. <laughs> Please don't drop that one. Oh God, I really don't want to. I don't really know how that happened. I mean, I'm just gonna guess that I was just moving way too quick, right? Got it all on tape, we can play it back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that smells so nice. good. It's almost like a, uh, like a uh, balsamic, what's the word? Balsamic or balsamic? Balsamic. <laughs> you know I don't balsamic. know this. Steve, I look at him and he doesn't know. Balsamic, balsamic, balsamic. I can't balsamic? even spell it. I just say balsamic. It's not that so look, let's do this. Let's just take, we'll take a bite right here from a piece that has nothing, none of the balsamic or balsamic or whatever it is on it, right? Taco balsamic. Taco. Right. <laughs> Pasta. I mean, it's perfect. It's perfect. 134 degrees is my best friend. Wow. But now here's what we do. Now we take a bite of this with a little bit of this balsamic, balsamic? <laughs> what is it? Yeah. Balsamic, bals, balsamic vinegar, balsamic vinegar. Balsamic. Now we'll take a bite of this, <laughs> of the, of the ribeye with some of this little balsamic <laughs> compote, I'm calling it. <laughs> oh. It's stupid, honestly. And don't forget the parsley, the part. Steve, can I give you a bite? Yes, because otherwise this is like the worst part of the show for me. I'd love to. I, I think love probably I speak for the whole crew. 
I love to see. I love to s serve Steve <laughs> bites of <laughs> what's going on here. Here you go, dude. Oh yeah. Oh wow. Is that stupid? It's stupid. Sous vide. It's brainless cooking. Really, is what it is. That's what they should have called it. Not sous vide, because nobody in this country knows what it is. <laughs> they should have called it brainless cooking. Wow. Any protein, any vegetable, any anything, eggs. What Lynn read something about ice cream today? Ah, whatever. What? All right. You know what? Uh, it's Monday. It's not going to be Monday tomorrow, and then Wednesday night we'll be back. I'm not going to drop anything else. Damn it. <laughs> But we're all going to have fun. Thank you for being here. Hope you enjoy the show. Look, it's 7 Eleven. Wow, we got our money's worth tonight. Jeez. Thanks for watching. Tell your friends, have somebody watch along with you. Make this food. You'll be glad you did. Even if you don't sous vide it, make the little tomato thing. Don't mm -hmm. drop it, make it, use it. See ya.